Yo guys, this is Practifile and today we're gonna have an unboxing and first impressions listening with It's the Sim God EM6 I'm oh, sorry <laughs> 6L Yeah, thank you so much Sim God for providing No, it's not they didn't provide this but it, technically they provided this but it is this a tour unit originally sent to OB Audio Thank you so much, man, for giving me the opportunity to listen to this. Um, it's a tier unit, so I have very limited time, maybe about a week. So yeah, let's let's not take it long. This the box. Yeah, very similar to EA 500s. Okay, ooh, all right. And the IMs. Yeah. Uh, like they look premium. Yeah, they look really premium, but it it's it's cheap to. Old, like it's like a regular KZ I am. And then in the box, I'm pretty sure there are tips here in SML. I've heard a lot of good things about the EM6L being the you know, they're I think they're a hundred bucks around that price, and um, a lot of people have been praising them so really curious how they sound like and this is the carrying case and oh wow nice cable nice colorway like gold and black yeah it's 3.5 millimeter termination it's not a two pin though i think it's i know it's different similar to casey's i forgot what type it is type i don't know type c pin or something like that yeah that's it for the unboxing yeah that's it nothing more so probably the reason why they made it into like not two pin maybe their savings for their saving space uh, inside because the pins are protruded that means you can stuff more drivers inside probably that's why so it's a design choice that's what I thought so yeah let's let's hear them fit is fit is good yeah it's great 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 um, standard fit. not the best but Definitely not not bad. Plug them in and let's listen to my test tracks. I'm gonna start with Unwell by Matchbox 20. Here we go. Okay, a bit hard to drive. Yeah, it's very good resolution actually. So far the tuning is good. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. First song, I'm yeah. Okay, how about Playing God? Let's try Playing God. They're they're a bit hard to drive though. That's one thing to note. But so far, they're very smooth sounding. Man, Simgood has been nailing it recently. Great man, like treble is very well extended. Man. Oof. Okay, let's let's check the treble here. Uh, High Spring by by Ayu. Okay. Okay. Your vocal sound good? Man, like this is a banger. The Sim God has done a very good job with with this one. I mean, you can see it from the graph, and I, I think I remember they graph the same as the Galileo. Man, the treble extension on this is they share the same graph as almost similar. But you're gonna get, you're gonna see that in my squig anyway. Wow. Okay. Like the separation is and, and the imaging is actually above average. Let, let's try get lucky to check on the bass. Man, this kind of bass, the level of bass, I really like. Like, no, like, maybe a little bit of, no, I don't call it bleeding, but, you know, it gives the lower mids a bit of warmth to not make them sound thin. Okay, let's try here without you to check on that. Instruments sound natural. At first, I thought the, tape, the, the treble was a bit thin, but, um, yeah, they, they lack that crispness yeah the galileo might might be better for vocals yeah but it's not far ahead i mean if i prefer vocals i might go with the galileo but if i like more engagement then probably the em6l nice nice yeah hands down okay let's check under my umbrella man it's so easy to get a 3d stage with this one like the treble is really not forward, but they actually have their own presence and you can separate them easily in your mind or brain. Yeah, I, I like the balance, man. Like if Galileo is like the one I suggest for like a reference, kind of like neutral with a little bit of bass, this one should, you know, like for a hundred bucks, this is a reference for balance sound. Man, Simgut, Simgut's killing it. Dude, this is 
Wow, okay. Uh, should I listen to more? Yeah, how about Ego Death? Like, I can't find faults about it. Like, for this Simgod EA 500s, it was easy to... It was easy to find faults because of the forward treble. With the EW200, there are some peaks. But this one, man, like, I haven't said anything apart from the lack of treble crispness. But it's, it's not really of a big deal because it complements well with the rest of the frequency. It's good. Like, you shouldn't waste your money on other stuff like it's crazy man like simgot has been really really kneeling it to the ground like like they have yeah I, I have a the the shark so that's one of the best in the the budget there's ew 200 around 50 bucks i recommend that too they have ea 500s uh i mean two months about that like it's good. The cl clarity is good. That's also recommendable in that price range. And then you have the EM6L, man. The tuner on SimGot must be <laughs> somewhere in the Facebook groups. It's good, man. What can I say? Like, the, the okay, the tonality is like balanced with very, very good balance. <laughs> Bass is just enough. It's not neutral, it, it's not really, um, because, I mean, it's not bad. If, if, if I said it's not neutral, is it bad? No. So it's just very balanced. There's, I don't know, like, there's no overpowering of any frequencies. Just perfect balance across the board. Bass has good presence and definition and impact. It's not overpowering the mids, it's not overpowering the vocals. Mids could be better, but because there are better sets. That, that, that's why I said it could be better. I, I might prefer the Galileo for the overall mids, but still, it's good. The treble at first sounded a little bit like... Mm, yeah, maybe because this is it, this is a 1DD bass, right? So you would notice that, okay, the bass is coming from here, and like, there's a little bit of coherence issues when it comes to timbre but you know after that you, you forget that yeah they could improve on that on the timbre thing but man the extension of the treble is pretty good man like the resolution is also very good it's i'm a sim god dude technicalities you get more for the price like there are many many sets out there more expensive than this that doesn't separate instruments well doesn't image the elements well you don't even get enough 3d i mean i know it's 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 an hrtf thing it's a head thing but dude th th this is this is great i'm gonna score this so yeah tonality easily a three mids uh where do i put the mids though yeah mids is probably like 2.5 it's not bad, but it's not something that makes me want to give them a 3. Plus the bass is 3. I think the bass is good. And then the mids is 2.5. Treble is also 2.5 because, yeah, um, it could be better. It's not something that makes me give it a 3. It's definitely above average. Very good extension, but there's just... Just a little bit of thing, the timbre thing to make it sound natural, but it's not bad in a way, okay? Technicalities is 3, man. I think it's very good for the price. Easily a 14, man. It's an S. Man, it's an S. Like, I can't find, find fault about it. Really, it's... Apart from maybe the plasticky build. Uh, what do I do? Um, it's an S. Uh, of course, I'm gonna listen to it more. Probably, I'll, I'll be back in a week or a few days. But I doubt my impressions will change. I, I doubt that. It's gonna be an S ranker anyway. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe or, you know, like my videos. I'm nearing 1,000 subscribers. At least, that's my goal for this year. Yeah, that's it. See you. Oh, no. I'm gonna see you in few days so i'm back here after like i don't know a few days to a week listening to um the em6l and yes my impressions didn't really change um i still think this isn't as this is an s ranker for its price it's 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 just amazing Sim simgod is really it's doing things that other companies struggle to do and 
I've noticed this with SimGod that they really have I don't know, like the tuner has a very good sense on staging and the staging on SimGod so far as I have tried, like, they've been really trippy. Like, they have very good dimensions and proportions to it. Like, they have depth, good width. Like, it's very easy to imagine a 3D stage on, on SimGod sets, really. Like, the EA 500s, the EW100, and they're, they're cheaper models as well. And this one is just, damn, like, um, it's, it's well-tuned technicalities are good it's it's a very good all-rounder i am now so I, I won't talk much about like how they sound because i've already said that in my scoring um i'll focus on comparison so first i I'll, I'll i'm gonna compare it with the lecturer galileos because this is one of my favorites in the price range and even more because of how natural they sound so it, it's really up to your preference um if you're into like an all-rounder fun u-shaped sound uh, i think i think it, the the sim god is is the way to go um but however if you're into like a neutralish kind of sound it's for me it's not boring they have bass trouble is also, I, I think the treble on the, the SimGod EM6L has more uh, in terms of its presentation, but, but, but I do like the timbre on the treble with the, uh, with the Galileo. Yeah, I, I do like the treble more on, on the Galileo. Um, if I were to choose though, I, I'd, I'd pick the Galileo over the EM6L, mainly because of the treble now yeah I, I i agree that the treble extension on the em6l is very very good better than the galileo but i do find the symbols a bit too forward and artificial and timbre really like i mean it's just a nitpick it's just a nitpick really i mean it, they're good but like like when i was listening to what was that when i was listening to like the the, the neurotica from Polyphia, the symbols there was just, they sounded artificial. And I tried listening to it in, in other stuff, and um, I do think that sometimes the EM6... EM6L emphasizes that trouble forwardness. They're not fatiguing in any way, they're still smooth, but for me, it's just a little bit too much of emphasis. That's why it's making those uh, hi-hats and sometimes even crash a bit flashy and artificial sounding so i don't know like if you like a fun sound or an all-rounder the em6 the em6l is, is still gonna be your pick um, but if you want like a kind of like referency sound especially in terms of tonality and timbre and instruments and vocals the galileo is your pick also interesting to note that although the tonality on the em6l tends to be like it's very well tuned very smooth I do find that sometimes vocals can be a bit recessed. It's not as forward as I wanted to because this is like approaching a V type of signature or a U type of signature. And I do feel that sometimes I push the volume up because I need that, you know, intimacy in vocals. And I get that with the uh, Galileo. Um, it's not that V shape is a bad thing, but it's just a taste thing. That's just for me. So on to other comparisons, what else? Like planar, so for example, I have the uh, the S12, let sure S12 Pros, what? It's a hard pick really. Like if you're into like a safer sound at, at this price range, because you know, sometimes the S12 Pros are on sale. If you're into like a, a safer sound and a, a smoother tonality, I guess the EM6L is still your pick. But sometimes there's this planar flavor that, that you can't get with DDs and you can't get with BX. Um, there's this thing about planars that it just... The, 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 the trouble, although it's forward, it's magically done. Like it's, it's a planar thing. It's just so fast. The transitions are so fast. With the EM6L, I do like the treble is forward, but sometimes I feel like the BAs are struggling a bit. They're like at their maximum function you know like it, it, it's pushing its limits technicalities though i yeah maybe on par the staging on this is really good though however the resolution like how timbre and sounds i, I think the the planars when 
just just a little bit just, just a little bit so it's still up to you like still if i have to recommend uh to everyone m maybe the em6l still gets that um and if you want more engagement like mm, if you don't mind the trouble forwardness then maybe the the s12 pros how about if I compare it with, say for example, their younger brother, the EA500. So now, if you like treble, you don't like a lot of bass, you want a brighter signature, then maybe the EA500 is your pick. I still think this is a good set though. A single DD, I think it's still well-tuned. Very, very good resolution for its price. You have, you know, interchangeable nozzles that, you know, you can maybe mod or tame that treble down. Um, but if you want smoothness and the overall balance, then the EM6L is for you. It's a bit more expensive though. So yeah, other comparisons uh, in its price range... Yeah, I can't think of any, really. I don't know, if, if I miss something in the comments, please do, you know, like, tell me. Well, I, I can answer you in the comments. Yeah, overall, I, I like this set. It's an, it's, it's an S ranker, a very safe sounding set. Yeah, what can I say? It's 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 good. Uh, if you have the cash, yeah, you, you can. This can be like your reference for a balance set. Yeah, reference for a balance set. If you want reference for maybe tonality and timbre, maybe the Galileo is your pick. That's my personal favorite. They, they do score the same, like this is an S ranker, the Galileo is in my S ranker, this one's also an S ranker. Yeah, have, have your pick, audition them if you can, that's still the best way to decide. Other than that, my only pick nitpick here is just really the, the recessed vocals, a little bit, and the uh, artificial cymbal timbre, which for me is it's a, it's a, it's a very difficult thing to, to master, the, the treble timbre or the cymbal timbre. I'm very picky on that, but that's just me though. It may be fine for you. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. This is my review for the Simga EM6 Alpha Phoenix. Thank you for watching my video, and uh, I hope I helped you have an informed decision. So, uh, like my video if you think it helped you, and also subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.